Time now is 551. Time for your morning news now. An ordinance regulating short-term rental properties passes La Crosse's Common Council. Officials say properties listed on sites like Airbnb only make up about 1% of city housing. The new ordinance will ensure all of them are properly licensed with the state, though. The $100 annual license now requires notifying neighbors within 100 feet. A property manager must also be within 30 miles when rented. Some residents wanted stricter rules to limit noise and disruption. Property owners defended the practice, citing tourism support and fixing up properties. The ordinance allows complaint submissions for city review. Also approved, allowing residents to keep up to eight chickens, requiring three square feet per bird. An accessory dwelling unit ordinance was pushed back. Now to our continuing coverage of the controversial funding deal at the University of Wisconsin. This morning, we're learning who the three regents were who flipped their votes. Vice President Blumenfield Bogost, President Karen Walsh, and Jennifer Statton, a student regent from UW Parkside, say they were convinced to flip and vote yes to approve the deal that will restructure 43 current jobs related to DEI in exchange for $800 million for building projects and pay raises the state legislature had been blocking. DEI um, and supporting DEI on campus is not something that we should be exchanging, in my opinion, for dollars. Opponents of the deal worry it'll encourage Republicans to hold funding hostage in the future to force more DEI cuts. A long-awaited new science building is coming to UW-Eau Claire. The State Building Commission has approved $344 million for a new science health sciences building. The new facility will replace Phillips Hall, which will be torn down for parking space and green space. Companies will build for the new building's construction in February. The Building Commission also approved $138 million for additions to Heritage Hall on UW Stout's campus. Construction on that project is set for 2025. A group called the Artsiders hosted an art show with a deeper meaning. Along with showcasing local art, the show is about raising awareness for mental health. It was fittingly titled The War Within Us All. The event featured all different kinds of art by local artists, including painting, sculptures, music, and even dancing. Adam Faith, the director of the Artsiders, says art is a great way to build community. Because it can be so easy to feel alone in the world um, and uh, to feel like there's other people that don't really understand what you're going through, but that's really not the case. We all have something uh, that can uh, we can bring to the table. And so uh, art is a great reason to come together and to celebrate life. Money raised at the event will go toward local nonprofits. Three community members are being recognized for the impact of their charitable work throughout the Cooley region. The Bethany St. Joseph Corporation honored the recipients with the Iverson Frecking Eco Medical Recognition Award. The award has been presented 84 times throughout its 37-year institution. It's given to community members who reflect a positive commitment to charitable efforts for all people, regardless of religious denomination. One recipient expressed the value of eco medical activities. Working with people um, of different faith traditions is you, you begin to understand that there's really not that much separating us, that we have much more in common than we do apart or different. The 2024 recipients of the award are Barb and Joe Cruz and Mary Ann Schwinn. And as you head out the door this morning, our temperatures are currently into the uh, 20s and 30s. Uh, we'll remain into the 30s for a lot of locations as we head through at least 9 o'clock. And then we warm up into the 40s by 11. That will continue throughout the day under a mainly cloudy sky. Slight chance of a shower possible closer towards the evening. Southeast winds at 5 to 10. As we head into the 8-day forecast tomorrow, or tonight rather, we are going to be looking at some of those showers that could last into tomorrow too. But then after that, Sunday through much of next week is looking mainly dry under a mix of sun and clouds. High still pretty mild, nearing the low 40s.